Hi everyone. We are actually going to see the Venus drainage of the face. So the venous drainage of face involves a facial vein which accompanies the facial artery. Basically a simple diagram that is actually showing the face is enough. The eye is needed just to show the tributaries of the facial vein. Just to draw the posterior part of your head and neck. Draw the clavicle so that you can be able to show the subclavian and the brachiocephalic. First of all, we want to start with uh, the veins that are actually going to come from that have learned it in the scalp. Namely, the medial one is supra trochlear, lateral one is supra optic, supra orbital, supra trochlear and supra orbital. The joint to form a vein called as angular vein. So the medial vein is called as supratrochlear. The lateral vein is called as supra orbital. So both the veins join to form another vein called as angular vein. So the angular vein continues down in the face as facial vein which leaves the face so this is actually located if at all if you want to see the dissection part you will be look see, you will be locating the uh, vein the facial vein just behind the facial artery which is actually tortuous and running medial to it so here this one is a facial vein this one is a facial vein. In the face, it lies behind the facial artery. Right? So, the gland that is actually located in front of the external acoustic meatus in and around that region, which is actually in you know, a pyramidal in shape, is called as the, the parotid gland. The vein that is coming from the scalp is called a superficial temporal vein. The vein that is actually coming from the infratemporal fossa is a maxillary vein. So here, this is the superficial temporal vein. This one is maxillary vein. So both the veins join together and form another vein called as retromandibular vein. So this formation and its termination of retromandibular happens inside the parotid gland. So the one that I have drawn in green color is the parotid gland. This vein is the retromandibular vein. Retro mandibular vein it divides into two divisions one is the anterior division the other one is the posterior division the anterior division runs down it joins with the facial vein which is already coming from there to form another vein called as common facial vein common facial vein. The vein that I want to see behind the ear is called as the posterior auricular vein which joins with the posterior division of retromandibular. So this one is posterior auricular. It's very easy to remember. It is just behind the auricle or the pinna of the ear. So posterior auricular vein joins with the posterior division of retromandibular to form another vein called as the external jugular vein. So this vein is external jugular 
vein. The vein that you only see in the anterior part of uh, the neck, that is basically the anterior triangle and particularly the carotid triangle. The vein that you only see here is the internal jugular vein. A bigger vein when compared to the external jugular. So this vein is IJV, internal jugular. This is EJV. The vein that is actually coming from the upper limb, basically you know from the axillary vein continuation. That vein is the subclavian vein. So this one that you could see here, which is actually seen in the posterior triangle, and that too in the uh, supraclavicular part of the posterior triangle. This vein is subclavian vein. Subclavian vein. So the external jugular, which is running down in the posterior triangle, gets into the subclavian vein. Both the veins join together to form a bigger vein called as brachiocephalic vein. Okay. So the structure that you are going to see present here at uh, this region, at uh, this region. So this is the demarcation of the anterior triangle. This is the anterior triangle region. This is a posterior triangle. The muscle that is actually running here, you know, obliquely across the, uh, the neck is the sternocleidomastoid. So this vein is present behind the sternocleidomastoid and the IJV is present in front of the sternocleidomastoid. In the part called the sclerotic triangle, this is basically present in the posterior triangle. I'll repeat it. The supratrochlear and supraorbital the veins that you've learned that you learned in the scalp joins to form an angular vein at the medial angle of I. At the medial angle of I, the angular vein continues as facial vein, which joins with the anterior division of retromandibular vein. How the retromandibular veins are formed? By the union of superficial temporal and the maxillary vein. Okay. And both the superficial temporal and the maxillary vein join. The union happens inside the parotid gland and the division of retromandibular happens inside the parotid gland so the anterior division joins with facial vein to form common facial the common facial again uh, the common facial drains into the internal jugular vein the external jugular vein is actually formed by the posterior division of retromandibular vein and posterior auricular vein the union happens and after that the external jugular runs over a muscle Okay, I'll repeat it. It runs over the muscle called as sternocleidomastoid, enters into the posterior triangle, and at last it terminates in the subclavian vein. The subclavian vein and the internal jugular together to join to form the brachiocephalic vein. This is the venous drainage of the face. Thank you.